reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most developed student. My name is Confident. Today, let us look at our lesson on addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication of fractions. So in this case, you can see that the problem we're given here involves some addition, it involves some subtraction, it involves some division. So we want to look at what we're given or how to solve such a given problem. Now, if I can first take my calculator and try to solve what we are given, that is always the best thing to do first. If ever you can use a calculator to solve something, you can solve it and then prove it later. So now, if I can take the first one, I'm given one. Okay, let me start again. It's a fraction and the cursor is on top. Make sure the cursor is on top. I put a fraction where I have one over two then play forward plus put another fraction 1 over 3 then you go down and then you put a fraction you've got 2 over 3 then you play forward with a minus with a fraction a 1 over 2 and the answer is a 5. So in this case, we want to prove that our answer is simple equal to a 5 using the concept of addition and subtraction as well as division of fractions. So now let us start by with the first one. What we are given here, I'll take the top part. This is the division line. So I'll take the top part, which is our numerator in this case. In our numerator, you are given 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. Now, in this case, you are supposed to find, you, or when you are adding, you are going to find the lowest common multiple of 2 and 3. In this case, it is a 6. That's the number, the smallest number that can go into, two, that 2 can go into and 3 can go into. So now, what we are doing is we are saying 2 into 6 which is a 3, 2 get into 6 3 times, and then you multiply by the top, which is a 1, plus 3 into 6, 3 gets into 6 2 times, and you multiply it by the top, which is a 1. So this becomes 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 times 1 is 2, over 6. Remember, this question, whenever you are given this question, they don't want you to use a calculator. So it's 3 plus 2 is 5 over 6. So you are not supposed to use a calculator. Let me make that no calculator. But remember, we used a calculator to verify or to prove that our answer is going to be hard. It's going to be 5. So now we have got the first one. So since we have got the first one, let us move on to look at the bottom one. Now we're looking at the bottom. At the bottom, you have got 2 over 3 minus 1 over 2. Again, if you look at the common denominator, between the 2 and 3 is 6. Now with 3 into 6, it's 2. 2 times the top part, which is a 2. Minus 2 into 6 is 3. You multiply 3 by the top part, which is a 1, which is equal to 2 times 2 is a 4 minus 3 over 6, which is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1 over 6. So now we have got our two parts. Now to finish, to finalize it or to finish it up, what you are having is now we are having 5 over 6, the one that we got here, all over 1 over 6, the one that we got in here. This is equal to 
5 over 6, you introduce the concept of division because that is a division sign. So divided by 1 over 6, which is equal to 5 over 6. The moment you introduce the concept of a times, what you do is the 6 goes on top and the 1 goes down. So you are going to invert it as 6 over 1 because from division to times, that's what you do. Then after that, you can see now that the 6 will cancel the 6 and you are going to have 5 over 1, which is equal to a 5. So you have solved that. Let us move on to look at the next one also that is similar. What are we given? We are supposed to solve the following you are given let me start by the first one which is as you can see the big denominator or the division sign is that separating the top from the bottom so you are given b over a plus b over c now the common denominator is between these two numbers a and c what you symbol do you write them like that a and you write them like that as C. Or you can simply say AC. So A into AC, when A divides into AC, the A and the A cancels, it will remain with the C. And the C will multiply the top part, which is a B, plus, again, the C will divide into AC, the C and the C will cancel to remain with the A, and the A will multiply the top B. So now what do I left with? C, B, if I'm writing in the alphabetical order is B, C plus A, B all over A, C. So that's the first part. Also when we've gotten the first part on the other extreme end, I'm going to write the second one, which is 2 over a plus 2 over c again my common denominator remember we said it was my a and my c so my a will cancel the a to remain with my c and my c will multiply the top part which is the 2 plus the c here cancels i've got my a multiplying the 2 if I simplify this, I have got my 2C plus my 2A all over my AC. So I've got this part. I have got that part. Now I need to put this all together. So if I'm to put it all together, what do I have? I have got the, um, if I can take my what up now what I have is remember the top part is this one which I can write it as B C plus A B all over A C and my bottom part is all over 2C plus 2A all over AC. Now, you introduce the concept of a division sign. This is equal to BC plus AB over AC divided by 2C plus 2A all over AC which is equal to, if you continue, it will be BC plus AC over AC plus AB. Sorry about that. This is supposed to be AB, not AC. This is supposed to be AB. BC plus AB over AC. Now, the moment you put it times, what you are simply doing is the bottom goes to the top and the top all comes down so what you're going to be having is 
you're going to have your AC all over 2C plus 2A. And in this case, you're going to cancel the AC as well as the AC. But the question is, is it done? Let us look, but I don't think it's done. If I can use a different pen now, what we are having, as you can see, we're having a BC plus AB all over 2C plus 2A. Now, something is interesting is you have got a B and a B and you've got a 2 and a 2. So we can factorize those. If I take out a B on top, I'll have my C plus A all over. If I factorize my 2 on, on at the bottom, I'll have my C plus my A. So you see that it was a bit hidden, whereby the C plus A goes and the C plus A goes. And then the final answer in this case becomes a B over 2 then this becomes the final solution. So you needed to be careful so that you don't leave your answer uh, not completely solved. Now we've come to the end of our lesson again. Thank you. See you again in the next lesson. Reaching out, reaching out is the proof of